Hi guys, welcome to another video. I'm really excited about this one because I'm going to be trying a bunch of healthy snacks. Some of them are super unusual, so this should be fun. I got all the snacks in this video from Bubble Goods, which is a marketplace that specializes in healthy foods and drinks. This video is actually in collaboration with them. They cater to lifestyles like keto, paleo, gluten-free, vegan, and more. And what I really love about them is that they are focusing on social justice and they support BIPOC women-owned and sustainable businesses. All of the snacks that I'm going to be trying are going to be linked down below and I also have a discount code for you guys in case you're interested in ordering something from Bubble. And with all that being said, let's jump straight into the video. So the first thing that I have is called Surprise Fries and they are made from coconut with some herbs, basically. I've never had anything like that, so I'm really curious. They smell really nice, like herbs and garlic. Okay, let's try. I really like the flavor of the herbs and the spices and garlic but I still get a lot of strong coconut flavor, which kind of distracts me from the whole like fries experience. And actually the more you eat them, the more you kind of get used to the whole experience. So I kind of like those. I would give them like 3.5 out of five. They're pretty interesting. The next thing that I have are these water lily pops which are basically like a version of popcorn made from water lily seeds. This is what they look like on the inside. They don't smell very cheesy. They have kind of a weird smell. Okay, I'm ready to try a couple. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like these. They taste tiny bit like popcorn, but they have a weird aftertaste and it's not coming from the seasoning. I think it's definitely coming from the seeds. It's probably an acquired taste and I don't know. They're not for me. They're not for me. I would probably give them like two out of five. They're definitely, I don't know. Okay, next up we have Pili Nuts, which is, they're sprouted. They are in the ranch flavor. They're keto and paleo. I think I've had peeling nuts before, but I don't really remember what they taste like. So it's gonna be like I'm trying them for the first time. They do smell really nice of all kinds of herbs and spices. I don't know if I would necessarily guess ranch, but we'll see. Ooh, they're very buttery. I wasn't ready for that. So imagine a macadamia nut, but this is like a hundred times more buttery. So it's a little bit weird, actually pretty good. I would say for me, they need a little bit more salt, but they definitely taste really nice. And I like the seasoning and everything. So the next thing that I got is this chia penne pasta. And I was really curious to see what a chia pasta would taste like. These are actually made from chia corn and rice pasta. Chia is not the first ingredient, so it's like, it's a little bit of a marketing trick, I would say, but I'm still really curious to try these. I'm gonna cook these a little bit later and I'm gonna insert a video of me trying them already cooked. Okay, I have the cooked pasta right here. I just put some olive oil and cheese on it. It doesn't taste bad. I definitely prefer regular pasta but I think it's great if you are gluten-free. You have to chew it for longer than you would normal pasta. But other than that, it's okay. One thing that I think is kind of annoying is that they put these things on the packaging. 16 grams of fiber, 20 grams of protein, and that's actually for the entire package. So I don't think it's really that healthier, but as I said, it's great for people that are gluten-free and can't have normal pasta. Okay, moving on, we have something a little bit more conventional. It's these blueberry and pecans kind of like clusters. They are paleo, vegan, gluten-free, and soy-free. That's what they look like. They are by the brand Sustainable Snacks. They do smell really nice. That's what they look like in the packaging.
So they do contain some kind of spice, which I'm not the biggest fan of. They taste kind of like, I don't know if nutmeg is the right thing, but kind of like spicy, I don't know. They're not bad, but they're a little bit out of my comfort zone. I would do, I would say like three out of five. Next up, we have these three. They're called bouchers and they are a plant-based snack that's kind to your body without sacrificing quality or flavor. You can have them as a breakfast cereal, topping for soup, salads, veggies, and more, or straight from the bag. We have original, we have flambeau, if that's how you pronounce it. And then we have the savory version, which I can't pronounce in French, I'm sorry. But let's start with the original. This one is pretty sweet. They taste a little bit like honey roasted nuts or they taste a little bit like these like grainless granolas that are basically just nuts and like some kind of maple syrup and sweetener. Yeah, they're pretty nice, but nothing that revolutionary. The red ones I think are probably spicy. So let's see. Yeah, they do smell more savory. Let's see. Ooh. They are spicy and quite a bit. <sighs> they are savory and spicy and I really like the flavor, but they're too spicy for me. And then this is the savory one, the last one. Hmm. Yeah, these are really great. I like them a lot. Next up, we have these energy bites. They definitely smell like dates and almond butter. That's what they look like in the jar. They are a decent size. One serving is three of these. Ooh, these are great. They taste homemade. They're really good. I mainly can taste the dates, but they're not too sweet. I think they're really good. And you also get some crunch from the nuts inside. Yeah, they're the perfect little snack. Okay, so next up I have this um, Lupini Bean Powered Bite. And Lupini beans have three times more protein than eggs, three times more fiber than oats, and are also a complete protein. They also have cashew, ginger, and pumpkin seeds. Okay, I'm trying it right now. Looks like a typical normal energy bar. Yeah, smells like ginger. I'm not the biggest ginger fan, but let's see. It is pretty gingery, but that's not my biggest problem. I think what I dislike the most is the fact that it's really dry. Yeah, it tastes too healthy to me. I don't know. I'm not crazy about this one. It's probably like two out of five for me. Next up, I got this superfood granola made from coconut flakes, sunflower seeds, and cacao powder. It only has five grams of sugar, and it's vegan, no soy, dairy, or refined sugar, and it's made with coconut oil. Like, I realize that that's not how you're supposed to eat granola, but just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna try it just as a little snack. It smells really nice of chocolate and coconut. Looks like pretty typical granola. Mm. Oh, it's great. This tastes so nice. It's exactly the right amount of chocolatey. It's sweet, but not too sweet. I think this would be my new favorite granola. It's really, really good. Next up, I have the superfood popcorn and the package comes with six of them. So I already tried them and they are amazing. I'm obsessed. They taste mostly like nutritional yeast, but I love nutritional yeast. I don't know what it is, but it tastes so good to me. It's a pretty small bag. That's the only issue that I have. It's just literally maybe like one bowl of popcorn, but they taste really awesome. Mm. These are like 10 out of five. They're so good. 
So next up, I got the Sprouted Buckwheat Crunch and you're supposed to add it on top of like yogurt and granola instead of the granola or in addition to the granola. And it has six grams of protein per serving and five grams of fiber. I know you're not supposed to eat them just like that, but I'm gonna try them just to see what they taste like. I imagine they don't have a ton of flavor. They don't smell like anything. They are completely flavorless, but they do add a nice crunch. So if you mix them up with granola to make a meal like more nutritious and to add the fun texture, I get it, but they don't taste like much. But I still enjoy them, I don't know. I think they would add like a fun crunch to a meal or a snack. And then the last thing that I got is this really healthy banana chocolate chip muffin mix. I have a couple of old bananas that I'm gonna use in this mix. For this one, I'm also gonna make it later today and I'm gonna show you guys the final product and I'm gonna taste test it. Here are the muffins straight from the oven. They didn't rise enough, but they still look okay, I guess. They feel kind of wet and they're fine, but they're not the best banana bread muffins I've ever had. So I'd probably give them like three out of five. That was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below what is the weirdest healthy snack you've ever had and whether you liked it. I'm really curious to know. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really, really helps my channel. Make sure you subscribe if you are into healthy lifestyle and wellness content. I try to post every single week and I would love to have you guys on my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!